Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is Living in Alberta. Today we are going to look at the top five best neighborhoods to live in Sylvan Lake, Alberta. Yo guys, what's up? My name is Kyle, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel, as you know, we break down everything when it comes to moving to or living in Alberta. So if that's right up your alley and you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you are notified every single week when we drop new content. And if you would like any help with your real estate needs, I am a licensed realtor in the province. You can use this information popping up on the screen. Get a hold of me guys any way you know how. I'd love to hear from you. All right, with that being said, let's do it. All right, I know the title says best neighborhoods to live in Civil Lake, Alberta. A more accurate representation of this video would be what are some of the more popular neighborhoods to live in Sylvan Lake, Alberta. Based on talking to friends that live there and helping a lot of clients move to Sylvan Lake this year, these are some of the more popular neighborhoods. And disclaimer, there isn't really a bad neighborhood in Sylvan Lake. So yes, there are a ton more. I always have to add that in. I don't want people jumping down my throat. As always, there's a lot of perspective in these best neighborhood videos or pros and cons videos. So what's important to you? Is it a big deal if you're backing onto a busy street? Are you close to railway tracks? Do you wanna be away from the busyness of Lakeshore Drive? Do you wanna be away from Highway 20 where everybody's gonna be coming into Sylvan Lake to you know, employ all their shenanigans for the weekend or the week. So again, this video is about some of the more popular neighborhoods. Just want to give you guys some food for thought and maybe help your decision if you're thinking moving to Sylvan Lake just a little bit easier. Okay. But let's get right into number one. And of course, these are in no particular order, but let's take a look at the cottage area, sometimes also known as the cabin area. Now, I had a friend tell me, if you want to live in a lake town, why not live by the lake? Why else are you moving there? This neighborhood is for those people who really, really want that full lake town lake experience. So up in this neighborhood, it's kind of cool. You can find, you know, $150,000 little cabins or cottages all the way up to over multi-million dollar homes. This neighborhood is literally right up on Lakeshore Drive. So Lakeshore Drive is the northern border of the cottage area. So really, really close to the busiest area of Sylvan Lake. Now, what are some of the best things about living in this neighborhood is literally you can walk out your front door and just walk a few seconds to the north and you're gonna be at the beach. When I was out driving around getting footage for this video, I saw a young fella, he looked to be about 14, 15 years old, walked out of his front door with his swimming trunks and literally 30 seconds up the way, he's at the beach. You're super close to all of the best restaurants and bars and shopping, which are along Lakeshore Drive. So that's a huge bonus in living there. You're super close to the next door center, which is Sylvan Lakes Rec Center. So a lot of perks come with living in the cottage area. You're gonna find a lot of vacation homes up here. There's gonna be some Airbnbs in the area as well. And if you've been up on the lake shore all day, maybe you've hit the pubs for a little bit, and you've got to walk home, you've had one too many wobbly pops, you can be home in literally one or two minutes. So we'll throw up some drone footage so you can see, you know, literally you are right up on the lake. It's pretty cool. Some of the cons of living in this neighborhood, and obviously this is perspective again. Some of you who are moving to the lake town or a lake town understand that it's gonna be busy. And as you've watched any of my other videos on this YouTube channel, you know that Sylvan Lake, especially in the summertime, is super, super busy. So this may or may not be a con to you if you're choosing to live in the cabin here. I'm gonna assume it's not. But of course, you are going to be up by the busiest area of Sylvan Lake, especially in the summer. Now, I have a friend who lives down in the cottage area. She has a detached garage and she has a parking pad and she says if she didn't have those things, she'd probably wanna murder somebody. Now, in a lot of the places down there, you're supposed to have a resident 
permit parking sticker. Not everyone follows the rules down there, so the streets can get super, super busy with people trying to find parking spots so they can get to the beach. Even if you do have, you know, a lot of parking, you have a detached garage, you have a parking patch, he said if, you know, if you're in that busy time of day and you need to go somewhere, it can be busy battling away through traffic to get out of Sylvan or to go to the grocery store or whatever it is. But this is a super, super cool neighborhood. And really, if you are looking for that ultimate Lake Town experience, which I assume is why most of the people are moving to Sylvan Lake, this may be an option that you really want to consider. I want you to swim in a lake. Let's go. All right, let's move on to neighborhood number two. And this is another popular neighborhood in Sylvan Lake obviously because this video is about the most popular neighborhoods in Silver Lake. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe. All right, let's take a look at neighborhood number two. Let's take a look at Riders Ridge. And this is a very popular neighborhood. It's a newer one, 2007 and up is when the homes were built. This is a really great neighborhood if you do have a young family. There is an elementary school, or sorry, pre-K to grade four. I think that's elementary, right? Yeah, that's elementary. Our Lady of the Rosary. So it is a Catholic school. You also have Ryder Square in this neighborhood, so it's really, really close to shopping. So there's grocery stores, there's banks, there's medical centers, booster juice restaurants, basically whatever it is, you name it, it's right in the neighborhood. Sylvan Lake isn't overly well known for its walking trails. I mean, up along Lakeshore Drive, it's a beautiful walk, but there is a nice walking path that runs from east to west along, this, along the city, along the town. Riders Ridge is connected to that walking path, so it is a great option if you wanna get out and go for walks, obviously. So really great neighborhood, but let's take a look at some of the potential or perceived cons of living in this neighborhood. First one, Highway 20. Some some parts of Riders Ridge are going to be getting kind of close to Highway 20. Now let's talk about Highway 20 for a minute. When everyone is coming off Highway 2 from Red Deer heading towards Sylvan Lake, going to, going to come spend the day at the beach, most people don't realize that there's three exits to get into Sylvan. The first one that you come to is Highway 20. So a majority of the people, probably 80% of the people coming into Sylvan, they're going to be using Highway 20 to come down to the beach. So needless to say, it's going to be very, very busy along that road. So if you are getting kind of close to that area, might be a little bit of traffic noise. There's gonna be a lot more busyness. And here's one con that people in Sylvan Lake have brought up to me. I have never noticed it at all when I've been there in Riders Ridge shooting for this video or any other time I've been in Riders Ridge. But apparently just across Highway 20, and not apparently, I can see them. There is a big cattle farm. So they said at some points, I think it's in the summertime, I'm not sure, especially when the snow is melting, you can get strong whiffs of cow shit. I can't stay in here, it smells so bad. Again, I have never had that experience when I've been there, but that's what people tell me, or some people tell me who actually live in Sylvan Lake. Honestly, I don't think that that is a huge problem. I think people might be getting a little bit nitpicky on that one. But either way, Riders Ridge is a great neighborhood. It's super popular, has some potential cons depending on how you're looking at it but also a very popular neighborhood here in Sylvan Lake. All right, let's move along to number three. Let's take a look at Willow Springs. And this is one of those neighborhoods where you kind of get the best of both worlds. You're in the very northwest corner of Sylvan. So you're kind of, you're right up by the lake, except you're far enough off that you're not gonna have to deal with all the busyness on Lakeshore Drive where everybody is coming to when they're coming to the lake. But you still are close enough that if you do wanna hoof it down to the beach because parking can be a son of a bitch in the summer times, you can walk to the beach from Willow Springs. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now this is a little bit older neighborhood, not too old. Most of the homes were built in the 1990s and early 2000s. So you are going to get a little bit more character out there potentially than some of the newer neighborhoods, depending on what your opinion is of that whole scenario. You are right next to the golf course, which is super nice. Again, when I was out there getting videos or footage for this video, I always mess it up every time I try and say that. But there was an old boy, he literally pushed his cart out his front door, walked over to the golf course and you know, he was living the life. And also because you are on the very edge of Sylvan, 60th Street is the western border of Sylvan. That will take you right up to the highway and you can get out. So if you do need to get out Sylvan for whatever reason, you do not have to battle your way through the zoo trying to get out. You can take 60th Street and it's super easy access to the highway. Let's try and figure out some cons of this neighborhood. It's pretty tough. You know, something to be aware of is that homes built in the 1990s and early 90s 
They did use polybutylene plumbing, which is a pain in my royal ass as a realtor. It's so frustrating. You have all these beautiful homes built in the 80s and 90s and you come to the home and the first thing I go is to check the mechanical room and I look for that gray, brutal piping called poly B. Not a lot of insurance companies are really even sure you for it anymore. Some places like TD Bank are, but in my opinion, if you are buying a home that does have poly B, first off, do a Google search on it. Educate yourself on it a little bit. I would be budgeting some money to have it replaced as soon as I moved in. So it could be a potential cost to you if you decide to buy a home that, you know, in the early 90s that does have poly B. All right, let's take a look at the last two neighborhoods. So these will be neighborhoods four and five, but let's take a look at Lakeway Landing and Fox Run. Now, these are some of my favorite neighborhoods if you do have a younger family. One of the biggest reasons is because you have a school, you actually have two schools right in the Fox Run neighborhood. Lakeview is just to the northern border of Fox Run, so they're super close. You're in walking distance to the schools, whether you live in Lakeway or you live in Fox Run but they have a Fox Run Middle School for the public division, and then they have middle school for the Catholic division as well. So it's actually two schools that are joined together in one building. They operate as their own separate identity, but they do share some common areas. So awesome neighborhoods to live in if you do have a young family. I mentioned a little bit about the walking trails that run across Sylvan. Again, there's not a ton of them. Uh, it's not a huge town anyways, 15,000 people, so expectations are that it might not be that great anyways. You do have the lake there, which is usually where everybody's spending their time, but those walking trails do run right through Fox Run, and there are also some extra walking trails up in Lakeway that connect to Fox Run and the other walking trails. As well as in Lakeway, there is the off-leash dog park there. So if you do have a dog, huge plus, also living in Lakeway. Now Fox Run is a little bit older than Lakeway. Homes are built from about 1997 to 2007. You do get a nice amount of diversity when it comes to the homes. Lakeway Landing is a little bit newer. Again, what's also really nice about living in one of these two neighborhoods is you do have easy access if you need to get the heck out of Sylvan. Lakeway Landing is about as far north as you can get, so super easy access to the highway. My friend lives in Lakeway Landing and she says that what she loves about it, and again, this is all perspective, right? We talk about the people who want the true lake experience, they're gonna to to live up in the cottage area. She loves living on the lake, but she doesn't want to deal with the craziness that's up at the lakeshore. So she, when she comes home to her little neighborhood in Lakeway Landing, it could be plus 30 degrees and there could be thousands of people up at the beach. And she says, you don't even notice it. So that's why she loves Lakeway so much. Now let's kind of talk about the topography or the geography of Sylvan Lake. So as you go away, so you'd be heading south from the lake, it kind of goes up a hill. So Lakeway being the farthest away that you can get is kind of at the top of the hill. So I was talking to my friend as I wanted accurate information for this video. I asked her, I'm like, do you have a sump pump there? Cause I'm wondering if it has a high water table. And she texted me back and said, yes, I do have a sump pump. So I assumed that there's probably a high water table in Lakeway. So I texted her that, I'm like, do you have a high water table there? So she phoned me up and her name's Sherry. She is kind of a mouthy zombie, but she said to me, do you know how fucking gravity works? So my point being is that Lakeway is up on the hill. You're not gonna have issues with higher water tables up there. Sherry says that she occasionally, once a year, she'll open up the sump pump just to dust off the sump. Fox Run is a little bit higher up the hill. Well, it's a little bit closer to the lake than Sylvan Lake. Now there are parts of Fox Run that do have a little bit higher water table, somewhat closer to the railway tracks in the lake. I did have some clients move into Falcon Crescent. I told them make sure, just like I tell everyone who moves to Sylvan Lake or anyone that has a sump pump, make sure that you're checking it regularly, make sure that it's in working order. And they were doing a really good job up until we had some big, big rains. And unfortunately their sump pump had stopped working and they didn't notice. They did not have a backup sump pump either, and they got about an inch of water in their basement. So super, super important guys to make sure that you are taking care of that sump pump. You're making sure you're checking it regularly, checking that it's working. Have a battery backup in place or a generator. If that power goes out, you don't wanna be effed guys. Make sure you are doing your due diligence when it comes to your sump pumps. So 
So as I said, there's not really any bad areas to live in Silver Lake. It's a fantastic town, city. I think it's still got a town status, about 15, 16,000 people. If you do have any questions, guys, make sure you hit me up. If you did like the video, hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And if you would like any help with real estate needs, use this information, guys, popping up on the screen. Get a hold of me anyway, you know how. As always, would love to hear from you. I will see you guys next week. Cheers.